I'm in Windows 11 and I'd like to create a striped volume. I can do that by going into computer management. So if I click on the search box and in search type computer management, just as you see here, and I've gone ahead and opened that up already. So there's computer management. Then you'll click on disk management under storage and you'll see exactly what I'm seeing. Now I've got three drives in here ready to go and I want to create a striped volume so I can right click and choose the option to create a new striped volume. So I'll click on that, a wizard pops up, and I'm going to choose all three of these drives that are available for my striped volume. Disk 1, 2, and 3. Now this is not supported on the operating system disk, not on this C drive. It's only on additional drives that you plug in. So I'll click Next, and I'll choose the E drive. I can also mount in an empty NTFS folder if I want to increase my C drive space. In case I'm running out of space, I can add the storage to it, or I can just say, hey, I'll spend some time with that later. But I want to choose the E drive, click Next, I'll choose the default NTFS. It's the only option for this. I want to choose to do a quick format because I don't want to wait forever for it. And if you want to choose file and folder compression, it will uh, increase the amount of storage that you have available, but it will slow things down. So I'll click Next and Finish. Now it's saying it's going to convert my disks from basic to dynamic, which is a special Microsoft type of format. So I'll go ahead and click Yes to that. And now it's creating my striped volume. So it's going to take all three of these drives and it's going to turn them into OneDrive. So there it is. You see all three of these drives show up as the E drive and the color has changed. Now if I go into my File Explorer, I can see my E drive and it's given me 14.9 gigabytes of storage space. So it's combined all three of these into one particular drive. So what is a striped volume? I've gone and created this crude picture for us to, to take a look. And there's a difference between spanned and striped. So we saw other options there. There's a simple volume, which just allows us to use a single drive. There's a mirrored volume, which gives us some redundancy by mirroring data from one drive to another. And then we have spanned and striped. And they're very similar, but there are some key differences. So a spanned drive will allow you to stack drives on top of each other. Not physically, but in a virtual way. So we've got the three drives, and what's going to happen is, let's say we add a really big file onto drive one in the upper left. It's going to fill up that drive, and then when it gets to file two, it will go on to the next drive, and then file three, it will fill up the third drive. However, if you have a stripe drive, what it does is it puts a little bit of file one on all three drives, a little bit of file two on all three drives, and a little bit of file three on all three drives. And that makes the drive run much faster. The difference between the types of drives you would use is a spanned drive can use any size drives you want. You can use a one terabyte for drive one, a two terabyte for drive two, it doesn't matter. But with a striped setup, you have to use all three, if you're using three drives, you have to use all three drives have to be the exact same size. So if I'm using five gigabyte or one terabyte or whatever it is, they all have to be the same size. So there is that limitation. So you have to choose between flexibility and speed. Now, none of these do any type of redundancy. You'd have to use a mirrored type of partition. When I right clicked on the drives, one of the options it showed me was a RAID 5 type of volume, which does striping with what's called parity. And unfortunately, it's grayed out. And that's because it's not possible to do on Windows 11 or Windows 10. It's only going to be possible to do on a server license or if you have what's called a hardware read, RAID card, where you've installed a RAID card and you configure RAID before you even boot into the Windows operating system. Then you can use a RAID 5, RAID 10, whatever it supports. So that's how you set up a striped volume in Windows 11.